take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Consequently, shingles disease is contagious for chickenpox by transmission of the varicella zoster virus, VZV, to these individuals. However, the shingles rash is not contagious in that a rash from one individual is unable to spread to another individual so the disease, shingles itself, is not directly contagious. Let's help you make your mark. If you have shingles, you're contagious until the last blister has dried and scabbed over. To help prevent the virus being passed on, avoid sharing towels or flannels, swimming, or playing contact sports. You should also avoid work or school if your rash is weeping, oozing fluid, and can't be covered. Let's help you make your mark. If the blisters are located on the face, you should not go back to work until they have crusted over, usually within 7 to 10 days. If the blisters are located in an area you can cover with bandages or clothing you may get back to work as soon as you feel well enough to do so. Let's help you make your mark. Can you spread shingles? It is not possible to catch shingles from someone experiencing a shingles outbreak. If you have not previously had chickenpox and touch the fluid within blisters that appear in someone with shingles, for example by hugging them, you could end up with chickenpox. Make your mark, take our lead. A person with shingles can spread the virus when the rash is in the blister phase. The blister fluid is filled with virus particles. The virus is spread through direct contact with the rash or through breathing in virus particles that get mixed in the air. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.